Hello Lilith. So I am here with baby Noah. <laughs> and Noah is the Willow Scope. He is actually the prototype number two. Um, sculpted, poured, painted, rooted by Claire Teller. Um, he, um, he's a prototype two of three. And there are 15 blank kits that were sold. Um, however, I haven't seen that many like completed, but um, I've seen a few, and the ones that I've seen, I've liked. I was trying to. Gabby and her crayons everywhere. I see it in the camera. Um, anyway, he's just been having. I've just given him a bottle. I was trying to get where you guys can see. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and make sure you smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and if you want to buy some merch you can see it right there by the description bar and also guys if you want to be a part of the chatterbox you can click the link in the description bar <sighs> it's just too much to say in the beginning you know it's like kind of like just get to it um it is one dollar and 99 cents and you must be 18 years old old or older to join um now this little guy is such a greedy greedy baby he's he's sleepy too he's been he's been sleeping a lot because he i guess he hadn't had the time with me that he normally has so he's just been like being he's, he was being fussy at first but then he said you know i guess he said well she, I gotta leave mommy alone. Let her let her do her job and deliver some babies. So I've been working, you know, back to back on Nima, and then which Nima has a new name. Um, I'll let her mommy announce that. Um, and then oh my god, I almost called him by his his name. Um, and then Willow, and then I also in between the. The two of them, I've also been painting on some Reborns as well. Because you know it takes time for the silicone to cure. So in between that time, I have two workstations set up. And if I can straighten out my room today before um, I go live, I'll probably try to go live in the nursery so that you guys can see how things are set up now for me. Um, because it is kind of crazy. Um... But I don't know if I'll be able to pull it off. If not, I'll I'll try to do it at some point. Um, right now, I'm probably in one little clean spot. <laughs> I'm being honest. I have, um, because I just put another baby that I'll be introducing to you guys soon, um, which is the Jalen by Laura Tuz Ross. Um, I decided to keep him um, for myself. He is actually, I finally put him together um, this morning. And, oh my gosh, you little booger. And I made bottles the other day. I'm so proud of myself because I can never get the bottles to seal correctly. Um, just FYI, I use um, Dawn with the, Downy, sorry, Downy. Downy with the yellow top um, for the, the, the formula. And I don't know how good you can see here, but the color is already the color of, you know, the formula. So I don't have to dilute it. I don't have to do anything to it. And as I get older, it get a little thicker and sometimes you can put a little water in it. But when it gets too old, um, basically all I do at that point is just um, use it in my clothes. Or sometimes I use a little bit in their spray bottles for their hair if they have more hair um but mostly when it gets old i use it with when i wash my clothes i don't waste anything um so yeah so i think let me just make sure yeah because he has a drinking wet so but yeah this actually worked I'm so proud of myself. So, let's see. I'm just making sure. 
Yeah, that's just the, the KY. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, there's nothing, um, nothing coming out of this bottle. So I sealed it. I sealed it with silicone. <laughs> yeah, so I was really happy about that. And it, um, it works really good. So there you have it. There's my little puka look. And I'm going to put him on a little shirt. But yeah, so, you know, here's a few things that I learned. Um, of course, you know, I'm not going to go into detail as I'm so very new. But I did learn some things that, you know, as as you can, I remember when I first started painting Reborns, I used to, I started learning little things and, you know, some of the stuff that, you know, when you just collect, you, you don't understand why artists do things the way they do things or they, you know, they, they charge what they charge. But as you start doing it, painting, you kind of, um, you kind of get it. But I'll be honest with you with the Reborns, you're definitely paying for more so for skill set because with reborns they are so much when once you start painting silicone you you will appreciate the reborns reborns are so much cheaper to um as far as you know your overhead cost versus um silicone um i don't care how fancy you get with it how great your skill is the overhead cost on a reborn is like pennies to compare it to um, compare it to silicone. Um, you you go through so many brushes and you know just everything is just expensive. The whole setup you you know plus you you lose time with other things because you really. Well, for me, because I'm new, I can't really work on full speed on other stuff while I'm working on my silicone babies. Because I just kind of like zoom in to make them priority. So far, that's what I've been doing. But I was able, I was really, really proud of myself because alongside Willow um, and um, Nima, I kind of pretty much just concentrated on just Nima. Um, and then, but with Willow, I concentrated on him, you know, of course, mainly, but in between, I was able to paint on my Reborns, you know, because I let him, I wanted to make sure that every single layer was good and, um, good and sealed. See, I already had the foundation laid for Nima, so I... It was a little bit easier because all I was doing was going in and, and correcting some things that I or trying to fix on some things that I wanted to do better on her. But with um, Willow, I I I that was brand new for me, and I was trying to make sure, you know. Plus, it wasn't my baby. I wanted to make sure that I take my time and do it right, and then I wanted to make sure every single layer cured, you know, properly. So, you know. In between I let him sit a little longer than even the time needed just to be sure so that gave me time to paint on my reborns but I really realized like you know midways I wanted to get different type of paint brushes and um, you know I was telling I guess I was on my live I don't know if I was on my lunch break or when I when I was saying it but I literally paid about $40 just for three more brushes. So every single thing is so expensive. And then, you know, I mean, just the whole setup is just different. But it is definitely very rewarding in the end versus like when I did my reborn baby the other day, my babies got back, heads rooted. You know, when you finish painting them, you got to assemble them and all that great stuff. Well, with the full body silicone, once you're done painting and matting, I mean, other than besides if you're rooting, but once you're done, you're done. You can pick up the baby and play. You know, you give them their bath, that final bath, and you, you can pick up the baby and just play. It's like, so it's like an instant gratification type thing. 
with them versus the reborns you still have a, a, an assembly to do um so you know both of them are a lot of work but it's definitely it don't feel like work when you're enjoying it it only feels like work when you get a little um frustrated with it or you know stuff like that so yeah um in between time the only baby that i've really had a chance to really play with is my jonah um because jonah is actually been sleeping on my bed and so i've changed him a couple times and you know stuff like that in between but that's that's it um and i will be showing jonah soon again he Jonah is like my favorite baby. I don't know. I just love Jonah Jonah. And so now I've had time to play with the twins and stuff. And I've been trying to listen to some of these videos about what's going on with YouTube and all the changes. And I don't really know what approach that I will need to take and how that's going to work. I do know that because I have the Chatterbox and it is a paid membership, and they do require you to be 18 years old and you do have to pay for it. I think the Chatterbox is pretty safe. Um, and any videos that go in the Chatterbox is safe because that is already designated to adult only. And no matter what I'm doing in there, I'm not luring kids, I guess. I don't know. But, you know, I don't know. Like I said, I, I can't really speak too deeply on stuff that I do not know, you know, the whole full story. Um, but I'm, I'm reading and listening to videos as well a little bit. But mainly my main thing, what I've been listening to, oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. I found this series, my friend introduced me to the series called um, The Marvelous Miss Maisel. And I've been watching that series and it, it, I, I like binge watched. So I watched up to, I think the whole, I think it's two or three series, two series. And now I'm to the, I got to the last part. I was so mad because I was like, what the heck? It, it doesn't, the next series don't start until December 6th. So I was like flipping out. So that's what I've been listening to as I paint on um, Willow. And you guys should see me. I, I think it's hilarious. If somebody ever seen me when I get ready to paint on the silicone babies, um, they would crack up. Because I learned with the first two how you get, you know, silicone on everything and how... You know, you can't have hair falling or no type of this. I put on a, like a, my um, satin cap. I put on, you know, specific like little, little scrubs, like kind of like sometime or some type of, you know, lint free clothing that's not going to like hang shirts, not going to hang when I lean over the baby. I've been painting from both sides of my desk, the front and the back. I have a stool in the front and a chair in the back. And I'm like working all around the table and it's like spinning them on this little tray thing. It's so funny. And I mean, but literally I think I'm going into surgery for real when I'm working on them. I just, I, I love it. I am looking forward to the next baby, but I'm hoping that the next silicone baby I have made will be for myself. And you know what also, just like with my reborns, what I learned is that so... In between, if I paint a baby for myself, I experiment on that baby because it's for me. So the next baby that I do, there's a few things that I want to do and I want to try. And I want to go a little deeper in some colors. And so I get to experiment. And so then when I get ready to do the next baby, I know what I can do, how far I can go, that type of stuff. So I'm... You know, I'm really feeling my way out. And then because I've painted like the two silicones prior to Will, I painted them twice. So it's almost like I've had, you know, painted four times on sil silicone because I've painted twice, matted twice. And then with him, that was like fifth time I'm painting with silicone and matted. So, it, you know, you just, it's just the experience, you know, 
Um, so I'm enjoying it, but it is very expensive. I did learn that, and I'm like, wow. It's very expensive, very tedious, but it is definitely a pleasurable um, medium to work with. So I'm really excited. And um, so next year I'll be on the lookout for some blank kits. Um, I'm thinking maybe I'll paint one and, you know, maybe put one up for sale because I got a lot of inquiries about it, about painting. And um, I'm thinking maybe I can snag a really nice kit and paint it and then put it up for sale. I don't know. Just a little baby. Just a little baby. Um, my 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 guy, he came when he came over yesterday, he says, um, he says, I I was um doing something and he says, Oh my gosh, he says I didn't realize that that baby was so big. <laughs> he said I didn't realize that baby was so big. He's like, that baby is big. I was like, yeah. So, um, yeah. Uh, the willows are very good size. They're not like tiny newborn. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go. I know it's been a long chat. I will be live tonight around 8-ish. Um, oh my God, I'm so tired. I've, I got up to put this baby together, take some photos, and then I decided, oh, I'll just pop in a video. And so now that I got him with a little shirt on, I put him back in his thing, and now I'm a little bit more relaxed, and maybe I can go back to sleep a little bit more. But yeah, um, so congrats again to all the mommies that did get, you know, new willows and other babies, and um, looking forward to seeing more more reborn and I um I'm just really really enjoying the hobby right now enjoying painting and I just think that you know rather you can afford silicone or not um people are doing great things with reborns as well and I'm actually enjoying both mediums more than I ever have a little bit, I guess maybe because I can appreciate it more. And I plan to next year collect a little bit more reborns from other artists as well. Um, and that, you know, that that's what I do. I go back into that, you know, my reborns when I don't feel like I can afford the silicone as much, then you'll see me with more of my reborns. But anyway, that's, that's my story. I'm sticking to it and I hope you guys enjoy the chat. We'll talk to you guys later and see you guys tonight. We should have some fun. Fun, fun, fun. Later.